Big news at my house, I'm finally, finally getting level two charging installed. Now, I think you all know that I own a couple plug-in hybrids and have since 2016. I juice those up using 120 because you can, even if you don't fully charge the battery, the gas engine has your back. But the thing is, I test a lot of EVs and I'm buying one, so really, it's about time. Plus, my neighbors across the street have been very nice and let me use their charger, uh, but, you know, it's time. Uh, here's why I have put this off. My garage is kind of a cave. This is how thick the concrete is. Yeah, um, if my ELR looks like a Batmobile, this is definitely the Bat Cave. My house is pretty old. It was built in 1916, and we have done a lot of remodeling over the years. The panel was updated uh, around 35 years ago. It's quite a run to get to the garage which again is set into the side of the hill and concrete. I'm going there in case there's a nuclear blast. There is a stretch where the conduit has to be buried, and that was quite a deep hole, a lot of work. This kind of destroyed our walking path, had to be done. Is my wife happy about this? No, she's not. And then of course, drilling through the concrete and then running conduit to where the charger is going to be mounted. So, yeah, it's expensive, which seems to be a really good time to say thank you for all of your financial support, big or small. Driven is a small, independent channel. We're not getting rich. We're just trying to give you really good, accurate information. Now, while I'm going through all of this trouble, I decided I'm going with the best wall charger. I did a lot of research and while I unbox it, I'll tell you why I went with the charge point unit. First of all, I got the version that's hardwired. It doesn't have a plug. This is best for outdoor installation. You can buy it with either the NEMA 1450 or 650 plug if you already have an outlet where you charge. The hardwire model is a little different, adjustable from 16 to 50 amps. The NEMA version is 16 to 40 amps, a little less powerful. You can order this on Amazon or directly from ChargePoint. It's the same price at 550 bucks. It is more expensive than off-brand units, but I'm the kind of guy that feels you get what you pay for. And if my garage were attached to my house, and would, I would be particularly sensitive to going with the top rated charger. Uh, this comes with everything needed to mount on the wall, really everything. Okay, not the drill, but look, there's even a drill bit. I'll need a concrete bit, but my situation is unique. Um, there's even a template for mounting the unit, nice. If you're doing research, I recommend the YouTube channel State of Charge. Uh, Tom Maloney does an excellent job of testing these units. Um, he says that the charge point cable is extremely flexible, even in sub-zero conditions. One of the reasons why I bought this, my neighbor's cable, is very rigid, even at temperatures around 40 degrees. Um, this is also available with the Nax plug, if you have a Tesla. And at 23 feet, it should reach any car that I'm testing. Also, I'm a design guy, and the styling of this looks great in my extremely ugly garage. And it's nice and compact. I don't have a lot of room in there. I like to do things once, the right way. Ultimately, that saves time and money, right? And there is an app for this. I'll cover that in a separate video. It allows you to do things like schedule charging. If you live in a community that has off-peak rates, that'll save you some money. Hope you got something out of this worst case scenario installing level two charging. I think it's going to be worth it ultimately. At least my neighbor across the street will appreciate it now that I'm not mooching off her. Once this is up and running, I'll do another video and let you know how it's going. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Volk.